Now I've just entered this field and I've spied three or four rabbits down the bottom corner. Now the field dips down into this corner. So I decide to get down on my hands and knees and crawl in as close as I can. Have a quick release on my uh, game bag strap so I can take it off quick and easily. The best way to do this is to find some sort of obstruction, whether it's a dip or a rise in the field or even a, a clump of weeds or something, and try and get it between you and the rabbit so it uh, covers your uh, approach. Now I'm going to range find the distance here and I find it's, it's about uh, 55 yards so I decide to get uh, crawl another 4 or 5 yards closer to make the shot easier. The field uh, dips down steeply now about uh, another 10-15 yards in front of me. going for one of these two rabbits as these are the closer ones in the field. I didn't realise that at the time but the camera is slightly pointed to the right but I still get the shot on uh, film. Headshot. The rest of the rabbits were too far away so I'll let them go down another day. You can see the eye almost bulging out the rabbit's skull and the thick blood coming out of its ears. That means the pellet's going through the brain. Now I haven't seen many, too many other rabbits but I'll leave the game bag off before coming into this field. Hoping to see one or two rabbits before the, the heavens open with rain showers. And I spy this rabbit up the hedgerow so I tuck myself in close to the hedge using the overhanging branches to disguise my approach and just try and get uh, myself within shooting range. And once I'm within range, I slowly bring myself out from the hedge again to get a clear shot. I have to move a wee bit further than I want it because of that dead briar hanging out of the hedge over the rabbit's ear. And then I get my shot off. pellet went straight through the rabbit's eye. Not the best place to hit them but it done the job. Now why I'm picking this here rabbit out of the hedge and filming it with the camera, I look up and I see a fox about 50 yards away racing along the edge of the field. He must have just saw me. I sat down trying to get him on the film but uh, he was away before I ever got the camera pointed to him. But by the looks of the remains of this uh, crow or rook, he's not the only boy that's hunting tonight. Now this rabbit's just over the brow of the hill here. The grass has been cut probably a week or two ago. It's all the same length. There's no cover to hide behind, no tall weeds, nothing. All you can do is get as low as you can and sneak in slowly and quietly. Rabbits know you're there, so... Uh, you're just trying to bluff it till you get within range. Then I realised I hadn't uh, reloaded the gun from the last shot I'd made. So I put a pellet into the breech. Catch my breath. Concentrate on my aim and totally miss. But I see another rabbit sitting about 70 80 yards away. He looks a bit jumpy, so uh, 
I get down on my knees and my elbows and I crawl my way in. Now don't be afraid to stop every four or five yards. Catch your breath. Especially if the rabbits look twitchy. Now I managed to range find him, he's about 50 yards. And I take him with a clean headshot. Again, the thick blood coming out of the ears means the pellet's going through the head, just behind the eye. Now this rabbit's about another hundred yards away, just over the brow of the hill. And I try and stalk in as close as I can, using the dip in the field to cover me. I get within about 50 yards of him and totally miss. I go to reload but then realise that the uh, magazine's empty so that's the end of that. But I think it's time to go home. The light's starting to fade. And I think I'll have to hit the practice range after missing two easy rabbits. What looked like it was going to uh, rain about half an hour ago now is a looking like a nice sunset. Just the three rabbits the night, but some very good stocks to get them. <laughs>